citizen here, uh, every citizen here has the same opportunity, like right after they uh, graduate high school, like have a good GPA to attend um, higher education. But what if you weren't a citizen? Should immigrants have the same equal opportunity as well? Uh, each year, about 65,000 eligible students graduate from, from high school only to realize that their hard work and dedication to their schoolwork can go no further because they are illegal immigrants. My claim is that the DREAM Act will help improve the lives, safety, and the ec economic stability of immigrants as well as the United States. My secondary claims are that the DREAM Act in the long run, it will benefit the U.S. economy. Um, the Dream Act will continue to will contribute to our military recruitment efforts and readiness. And lastly, I will address any I will address rebuttals commonly used against the Dream Act. <clears throat> the Dream Act would provide conditional permanent re residency to certain undocumented re residents of good moral character who graduate from the U.S. high school and that would allow them to enter into higher education. The DREAM Act in the long run will benefit the U.S. economy. In a UCLA study, students that would have been impacted by the DREAM Act would have added between 1.4 to 3.6 trillion in taxable income to our economy over the course of careers, depending on how many actually gain the legal status. According to the according to the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, the Dream Act, in its current form, will cut the deficit by 1.4 billion and increase government revenues by 2.3 billion over the next 10 years. The Dream Act could break the cycle of poverty and uh, vulnerability immigrant women and children face, often by offering instead opportunity that will benefit their families and communities, and our country. My next point is that the GMAC will contribute, contribute to our military's recruitment efforts and readiness. After, let's say after um, uh, a boy who graduates from high school wants to enlist into the army, if they're not an illegal, if they are an illegal immigrant, they wouldn't be able to enlist. So under this bill, they will have the opportunity to enlist in the army. Uh, the Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Defense Gates, has written, stating that the Dream Act represents an opportunity to expand the recruiting pool to the advantage of the military recruiting and readiness. The Dream Act is also part of the Department of Defense's 2010 and 2012 strategic plan to assist the military. Former West Point professor Margaret Stock explained that many of the Dream, the Dream. The dreamers have great potential as military recruitments, but are barred from enlisting. Now, some might say, "Well, this is this act is just going to encourage, uh, encourage illegal illegal immigrants to just break the law and come to the country illegally, and that uh, some of the people coming over, oh, they might be criminals or they might be up to no good." But <clears throat> the Dream Act doesn't apply to everyone. In order for them to be accepted, they must have proof that they have arrived in the United States before the age of 16, have proof of residence in the United States for at least five consecutive years, and if they are a male, they have, must have registered in the selected services. Now, the DREAM Act requires responsibility and accountability for, of young people who apply. Um, it's... The Dream Act creates a lengthy and rigorous process. In addition, they must have uh, routine background checks and routine checkups. So this is a good thing. So we're not just handing out residency to uh, anyone who wants it. And in addition to all this, the Dream Act will allow our immigration and border security experts to focus on immigrants and illegal uh, persons who come to this country. Wait. The experts, okay, hold on. Border security experts to focus on those who pose a serious threat to our nation's security, rather than having to deal with the innocent children brought to the U.S. at a young age. 
So the Department of Homeland Security can focus on like actual criminals who just like um, who are just bringing over drugs and stuff of that sort and pose a threat to our country. At the end of all this, we see that passing of the Dream Act will stimulate the economy and widen the range of military recruitment. And America as a whole uh, will become more competitive in the uh, worldly scale. Thank you. All right, well, you ID the subject. Your proposition has multiple claims to it, and you want a singular claim. Uh, the secondary issues, though, are pretty well labeled in the body of the speech, and you signpost them at first, although I did think that they sort of ran together after the second point. So you want to uh, maintain some clarity on those and keep phrasing them as declarative sentences. I didn't think that you were doing that uh, the way you needed to. Uh, you've got a couple of pieces of information on the first point. This UCLA study... Uh, it, it, it rushed by pretty quickly, and it's got a big number attached to it, so I think you need to explain it a little bit more. What are the premises uh, that uh, are the basis for this study and the amount of money that is uh, that it says it's going to provide to the economy over a period of time? And you know how many dreamers were there based on that? It sounded to me like it was an awfully big number given the number of people that you said that you were actually going to be talking about under the current DREAM Act. That seemed like it was... Uh, you know, one of the things that kind of hurt the credibility of that particular study, and that's why I think you needed to have some more information on that particular point. Uh, you're very dependent on hypotheticals on the other points, and I think that you need to do a little bit more to justify those conclusions. I, the fact that the military has a strategy for recruitment based on the DREAM Act, I think, is a good piece of uh, factual data that shows that they believe that there's going to be a potential uh, ability to reach more there, although there's not any information about what uh, our enlistment levels are now, whether they've gone down, whether we need uh, those additional people, whether it's going to save us money because we get those people more easily or, or they're going to stay longer or something along those lines. So I, that it's in the strategy, I understand, but what's the basis of that strategy? I think that needs to be elaborated on a little bit more. Uh, like I said, I thought uh, the first point uh, had the uh, clearest documentation on it, but it was still a little bit thin. Everything else was very dependent on hypothetical information. Uh, the delivery of the speech, you want to get your hands out of your pockets. Uh, it looks a little awkward while you're standing there uh, talking to us. Okay, thank you.